The outbreak of coronavirus, otherwise known as COVID-19, in Wuhan, China, in late December 2019, took the world by storm. No one single country was prepared for the trauma it inflicted on global communities and its devastating effects on healthcare systems globally. In fact, the rate of COVID-19 infestation is reminiscent of locusts' invasion of agricultural fields, completely consuming everything in sight. This pandemic, which assumes galloping dimension in rates of infections and death toll globally, is such that death and infection rate changes so rapidly by every ticking minute such that quoting current figures may not survive the next minute. With infections and death toll rising astronomically by the day, many countries across the globe took decisive measures to stem its spread and protect its people from this unseen enemy. Some measures taken include travel bans, border closure, self-isolation if infection is suspected, and lockdown of whole cities. This action, although not punitive, has nevertheless crippled socio-economic activities with the informal sectors of the economy hardest hit, causing hunger on massive scales across nations globally. Millions have also filed for unemployment and bankruptcy. There is no doubt at all that this lockdown as a result of COVID-19 disease has brought a lot of hardship because economic activities have slowed down Poverty is still part and parcel of our society as of today. So locking down for weeks is definitely going to um, bring some hardship to the people. With businesses buckling at the knees, governments have had to wear human face by doling out palliatives to its citizens to cushion financial losses to individuals as well as bailout funds to companies to prevent bankruptcy. America is a ready example where $2.2 trillion have been budgeted for palliatives. In Nigeria, a similar palliative has been attempted at the federal government level. Smart Delta. Delta State, South South Nigeria, is part of the global community and therefore not immune to the ravaging effects of COVID-19. Just like the rest of the global community, the government of Delta State has adopted global best practices in these trying times in the world. With the pronouncement of complete lockdown of the state, it thus became necessary to mitigate the situation by providing some palliatives for the very vulnerable. To this extent, a food bank was set up by the state government. We have a food bank in three different places. Everything has been uh, put in place and the committees have been put in place. And we have emphasized that there is not politics in the distribution of these items. It is for every Delta and North Delta that are in Delta State. We also appeal to some of our privileged citizens in Delta State in various communities to also support the effort of government. The decision by the state governments to completely lock down the state was not an easy one as it came with a lot of responsibility on the part of the government. It threw up the need to help cater for the needs of the indigents, the old and the vulnerable group who survive on daily income which has been put on hold as a result of the lockdown. On account of this, the Okoa-led government stocked warehouses with foodstuff even as the administration pleaded with other well-meaning individuals and corporate bodies to make donations. This much was attested to and supported by the Honorable Speaker, Delta State House of Assembly, the Right Honorable Sharif Oberewari. In Delta State, we are on top on the issue of this COVID-19. 
preparation have been on ground before the final uh, lockdown and all that. Now the, they are setting up a food bank in all the 25 local governments. As legislation, we are supporting in all means. I have to commend my members in one way or the other. They, they've tried as much as possible to reach the people because the people are the ones who elected us. It's not in party lines, it's all inclusive. For effectiveness, efficiency and transparency in the palliative sharing and distribution, the governor instituted several committees consisting of local government chairmen, the clergy, opinion leaders, well-meaning individuals, women and youth representatives at different levels and even persons from the opposition parties. We do know that everybody deserves to be catered for. But in all honesty, there are those that are much more touched by the situation on ground than every other person. These are the persons we are targeting. We are hoping that by the grace of God, the committee that we are put in place will look out for these very vulnerable members of the society. All this effort is aimed at ensuring that there is transparency and that the food is not politically distributed. We've started the deliveries to the 25 local government areas. Expectations may be very high, but at the end of the day, we're being realistic. You have to apportion it in such a way that at least it can go around enough people and it's sufficient to feed them for this period of, of the lockdown. Following the directives of the state governor, the first batch of food items were dispatched to the Delta Central Senatorial District. And of course, Smart Delta Media team was present to capture the moments every step of the way. For the avoidance of doubt, there is no quantity of food government can provide that will be enough for the people. Therefore, the criteria and category of beneficiaries were well spelled out to include the most vulnerable in the society, that is, the old, people living with disabilities, and the very weak. We monitor the consignment for Saple local government area. Speaking with Smart Delta Media Team, the local government chairman, Honorable Eugene Inuaga, expressed gratitude to the governor, stating that the items would go a long way to ameliorate the sufferings of the people. The governor is a man of his words. He's a Tokunadu governor. The promise he has made is fulfilled, and we ensure that this goes to the less privileged, to the downtrodden in the society. On this, I want to thank the governor for what he has done for the good people of Sapla and people of Delta State. The governor is not governor of PDP, he's not governor of APC, the governor of Delta State is the father of the state. And in fact, the states are his major concern. And we know that the governor is doing his best. And I want to thank the governor for choosing some of us as religious leader to lead this team. Most likely, those of us that are not politicians. So every person that is going to benefit from this food bank of the state are those that could not provide for themselves at all. Present at the scene were members of the local government committee set up by the state to receive the items from the food bank for onward distribution to the various wards in the rural areas. We have 11 wards in the local government and then at the LGA level we have a committee headed by the chairman of the local government. In each ward we have uh, committees that are already put in place. We have also directed that the committees must take into consideration distribution to take the pattern of units, ensure that each unit capture the process of distribution. We have written out a kind of a bylaw number, not for luck, and I endorsed behind. And where the five or seven may committee, we zone the word five into nine zones for effective coverage. Other committee members present at the scene include Reverend Fidelia, Pastor Omasa Mabiaku, Mrs. Edijana Feldman, Reverend Christopher Ikabo. They lend their voices to the gesture of the government and its impact. It's laudable and commendable, and I, I think other individuals in the society should follow the example of the governor, because the governor cannot be able to meet everybody. It's an encouragement, uh, a kind of an example for others to come out and let's help ourselves so that together we pull through this experience. When I saw the trailers 
coming to supply with rice, beans, and other food. I was amazed. I was happy. I believe this will go a long way, and it will ease the suffering of the people of supply. The governor has done noble for him to remember the needy people in town because I don't think the food that came would be enough for the whole of Sapele but bringing this committee to look deep into the people that really need the food that's a beautiful effort from the state government. In every ward we have set up seven man committee not along political line or religious line it's a mixture whether APC, PDP all mixed together we are receiving the goods now we are going to share them into 11 different sets. We are targeting the homes, not the individuals. Smart Delta sampled the opinions of some of the beneficiaries. I'm very happy for having this thing because I don't have nothing doing. I'm not used to do business, nothing, nothing. God bless Governor Koa. I want to thank the government for presenting this goods for us. May the Lord bless him. The giver never lack. All over his life, he will move forward and his family will prosper in Jesus' name. The sky also looked bright for those in Ugeli North local government area. The chairman, Honorable Godwin Adode, tells the Smart Delta Media team the structures the local government has put in place to enable them efficiently and effectively execute the task before them in line with the governor's directive. What the governor is doing across the party is giving out to those who can buy a cup of rice. And we have gone around and we have known them already so that the commoners should benefit. As expected, representatives from each ward were equally on ground to claim their items. They explained that the items will help cushion the effect of these trying times, even as they appreciate the governor for his never ending support and love for his people. I appreciate God Almighty first. I also appreciate our governor, Senator Fankowa for supply us full item to enable us to sustain this critical period. What the government is doing is good and with this help my people have benefited a lot because of it. Uh, it has removed them from hunger. During the course of distribution, the local government chairman in company of Smart Delta Media visited some of the wards to see how well the process was going. Faces of beneficiaries at different wards in Ugeli North local government area lit up with smiles as they collected their items. According to them, it is their thoughts behind the kind gesture of the state government that mattered more to them than the quantity of items collected. I hear Lokowa, Lokowa, up, up you go. We were very happy this morning when we saw this food that they brought for us. And we thank the governor well because we did not expect these things. Even if they are not enough, but we are happy. I hear Lokowa, and I hope Lokowa go, they go. Because it's not easy to feed nature. It's not easy. Your whole family is safe when you bought like children. To feed that they add. Go to go feed the whole nature. He tribe. The government don't give me food. And I get wet I go shop for us now. I they happy, I they happy, I they happy. Smart Delta. For us in heritage, we have come together to provide some palliatives in form of medical supplies, food items to be able to support the various families at this time. We're quite grateful to Heritage Oil. They've displayed warmth to the state government. They've displayed proper partnership. We appreciate them. I have absolute trust in the CDB and their management to ensure that the gesture that Heritage Oil has given to citizens of Delta State will get to the grassroots. The story was no different at Ozoro, Isoko North local government in the South Senatorial District. When Smart Delta Media team arrived, truckloads of food were being offloaded and distributed to smaller ones for onward movements to various wards in the villages. We chatted up the chairman, Honorable Emmanuel Igbabo, to find out how he intends to achieve seamless distribution. We draw up a list that made up of the President General of the community the community woman leader, community youth leader, the counselor and supervising counselor if there is any, and religious leader from that work. 
From there, we'll go to various streets where the food will be distributed. Those who are very vulnerable in those places are the ones that will be attended to. Dr. Ifai Atokowa, he saw that the stay at home has brought some inconveniences, starvation to some other people, especially the less privileged, the vulnerable. And he made food available for us. Somebody who has done that is somebody who takes God first. Other committee members as well as councillors representing the grassroots also bear their minds. Our duty as a councillor is to make sure the food stuff that comes to our local government go down well to the worst, most especially to the less privileged people in our different wards. So we thank him so much and we pray that God should bless him. The governor has given a go down instruction that we should monitor the activities of the sharing, even as far as to the community level. We followed up the actual food sharing at Ofagbe and spoke to street representatives as they collected food meant for vulnerable people in their various streets. I've collected the food, then I'm going to Onia Street to go and share the food. I'm very, very happy. This food items is very okay for us. And we thank the governor for bringing us food. God will lift him up and give him a long life and prosperity. At Ozegbe Streets of Fagbe, the beneficiaries were calmly seated, ready to lay hold of their items. I appreciate the government. I appreciate their effort. They really try for remembering the old people and the less privileged. For what the governor has given to us, God will bless him and give him long life. I mean, we time. Recipients of palliatives at Orie Streets, Uroa, express their gratitude to the state government. I thank the government. I have brought the hunger over the whole people. So let us divide everything to individual. Okay, okay. The governor has done a good thing. God will provide for the government so that they can do more. Now, I appreciate the state government, which remember the poor in the village. We sacrifice that this one they bring, we divide it equal and everybody will enjoy it. Welcome. President General of Ofagbe Community sums up the day, even as he, on behalf of his people, remain grateful to the state government. I'm delighted. The governor has done so much and the people quite appreciate. When the community is not settled, we cannot govern. The governor himself cannot rule. So with the supply of these food materials, it is a wonderful thing. Done with the central and south senatorial district, Delta North was naturally the next. In Oshimele's south local government area, the chairman, Comrade Uchio Sadebe, made it clear he would not depart from the governor's instruction. So we have a template the governor gave us, and we are following that template. We have been able to arrange in a way that in every ward, we must touch at least 200 households. But from what I'm saying, it's going to be more than that. Well, that is what we are targeting for now. At Okwanala, a community at the foot of the Niger Bridge, the sharing went on seamlessly as the elderly and vulnerable collected their food staff. They were full of gratitude to the state and the governor. I'm highly satisfied for what has happened because as the governor remembered us, so God will remember him. And God will replenish him in many folds. God will bless the family. Wherever this money comes from, we never go dry. We are indoors since, nothing eating. So we are very, very happy. God will bless you people. As you bring it to us to feed our children, God will feed you people double by double in Jesus' name. Smart Delta talked with an APC woman leader in the community and a member of the palliative committee. This was what she said. In irrespective of party, this thing, we share it correctly. Not that this one is a PDP or APC or any other party. This is sharing equal. The person that brought it, he didn't know that you are from a APC or you are from a PDP. But he brought it for the whole local, the whole world too. Inside Asaba town at Ward 5, close to stop abortion roundabout, the chairman of Sadebe led his team in handing out 10 kg bags of beans and rice to beneficiaries. May God bless the effort of the government and may his tenure be fruitful. Same story resonates at Iseluku in Anyocha North local government area. The likes of Ifanye Guyenga, Emeka Mwobi, 
Ukemo Kwafo and Chuks Oseme, the local government chairman, championed the cause of distribution. Just like in other places, they are to ensure that the items are evenly distributed to every person who falls within the vulnerable bracket in every community, disregarding political leaning. We are critically looking at those people who this lockdown has actually affected in terms of their income, in terms of their ability to, you know, fend for themselves. We intend to distribute the items to the wards. We are putting all arrangements in place to ensure that this thing gets to the target audience, particularly the very vulnerable. There must be a, a template for the sharing. Or we are going beyond that to give to community by community. Although we know the words, we give out to the words and then we make sure the words give out to the communities under their words so that it can get to the, the people that is meant for. We have no party basis here. This is not political at all. The sharing also will be monitored by the committee members around our wards in the local government. And the president generals being the custodian, they are the ones that usually manages. Uh, have been mandated to make sure that these things get to the vulnerable. Honorable Charles Ogedi. Honorable Charles Ogedi, the President General of Obongba Ward in Anyocha North local government area, expressed gratitude to the Okoa led administration, stating that the materials will help soothe the sufferings of the people. We want to really say a big thank you to His Excellency because this is a big relief to them. It is a palliative, but of course, it will go a long way in mitigating the hardship they are going through. We cannot take a census of the vulnerable. There are scattered everywhere in the communities. But with this, as President Generals, we will uh, ensure that it gets to as many vulnerable people in our various communities as possible. The people of Ikan of East were not left out of the equation as the chairman and his committee members explain how they intend to disperse the items to the people stating that it will go a long way to cushion the effect of hunger as the people are compelled to stay indoors till further notice. What we did was to first of all identify the vulnerable in our society and uh, rather than sharing it in a garden where all of them will gather in one place, we will take the food to their respective houses. And in so doing, we have uh, solved the problem of social distancing. The people of Ikaimot, we are very grateful to Senator Josephine Okowa-led government. And uh, today we have received our uh, food. The modality is very, very simple. We are taking it to the respective uh, wards. When it gets to the respective wards, we have committee like this put in place. Uh, palace is represented, the clergy, the uh, people of high integrity in the society will come together to decide how they are going to share. We have put into consideration the population, you know, within the various words. And with that, we have come up with a very strategic measure to distribute equitably to all the words. Over and again. The Okawa-led administration has once more demonstrated its commitment towards the welfare and well-being of her people in ensuring that hunger does not become a cause of death to the people in the face of COVID-19. The state governor therefore urges Deltans to keep faith with his administration in these trying times, even as he urges all to join hands with him in a continuous effort to defeat COVID-19 and build a stronger Delta.
better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa he de do he better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa he de do. I see a job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth say them hila. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Ekwe Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of 